Hi everybody, I have mostly good energy updates for you guys regarding this uh, third party energy group that I read. Um, so what I've channeled so far is that a lot of the masculines have actually stood up to the karmic. So so within the past, um, so for some of you this energy is still coming in. For the majority of you I think this energy has already come in or you can feel that Something's brewing, something's about to happen, especially with Mercury retrograde coming up. There tends to be a lot of arguments and chaos. So for some, your spirit guides are using that Mercury retrograde energy to push uh, your divine masculine away from the karmic. For others, this has already happened. Uh, but it's just the energy I've been feeling the past week or so. I feel like what I'm feeling is that a lot of the DMs have just, the Divine Masculines have just moved out. A lot of them have stood up to the karmic, is what I'm getting. A lot of them have finally taken their power back. They've finally realized their own strength. They're finally getting on board with their spirit guides. They're starting to trust their intuition. They're, uh, they're taking the rose-colored glasses off, basically. And I feel like a lot of them are being assertive in ways that they just never have been before. Or maybe they, you know, used to be assertive. They used to be in more of this leadership type of position. But with the karmic, they ended up being submissive, kind of um, fearful. And now they're really taking their power back. So it's a really beautiful energy. I know a lot of you are very proud of um, your masculines right now. You know, I am too. It's it's a really It's a really good energy. I feel like, so yeah, I feel like some of them have moved out. I'm sorry, sometimes I get a little jumbled when I channel because that's primarily how I get this information. I mean, I also pull cards, but the cards are more of just a, just a visual aid for you guys and to, you know, get clarification on what's going on. But I primarily channel and just the energy I've been feeling is a, a major shift. So I think a lot of these masculines have actually told the karmic that they love you and that they want to be with you still. A lot of them have moved out of, um, you know, negative living situations. A lot of them have, I, I sensed like a really big argument for many of them. A lot of them got in some kind of major argument where they really told the karmic off. They really told her what they wanted to do. They told her what they really felt. It's like everything that had been bottled up for months or for years for many of them just came out all at once because I feel like the karmics are feeling like clowns right now honestly they're feeling it's like they, they already they knew like they're 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 this like eight of swords victim kind of mentality right now I feel like they already knew that the dm could not stand them they already knew that the dm did not want to touch them um they already knew that it just was not happening with the dms but I feel like these masculines said something so harsh and so direct that they can't ignore it anymore. The karmics are forced to face it. Like, I feel like before the, these masculines have tried to leave the karmic or they've tried to break up, but they were just a little bit too empathetic about it, too uh, gentle, too easily gaslit. And the karmic just wants to believe what she wants to believe. It's kind of like what we got in that last reading I did maybe about a week ago where I was feeling like some of these karmics actually are getting ripped off by psychics right now because they want to be told, you know, whatever they want to hear. And so some of them are, are paying psychics money to do witchcraft, uh, you know, to do readings, whatever. And, you know, like I've said in my past readings, you know, the karmic's hexes, her threats, they're not working. Like, you, you know, your masculine is protected, you're protected, like everything's good. Um, or you maybe you're the masculine and you're protected, you know, whatever, however the story plays out. But but you really don't need to worry about the karmic threats anymore. She's she's weak. She's, you know, she's there's nothing there. You don't need to worry about it. But um, but yeah, it's it seems like they were always like the karmics were always in denial in the past. They always they wanted someone to confirm you know, that the masculine loves them and he's going to stay and he's just, he's distant because he works a lot or he's distant because of this or because of that. And it's so strange because a lot of these karmics never even loved the masculine. Like that was never the karmic's person, just like, he, you know, she was never his person either. Or it could be male, male, female, female, just take it as it resonates. 
But it's so strange because it's like these karmics just hung on so tightly. And like I've talked about in the past, you know, a lot of that is just bitterness and anger. It's not love. It's, it's almost like these karmics just want to ruin the masculine's life. They just, they want revenge. They want, they're just bitter. They, they, it's just like psychic vampire type energy, like succubus energy, where they just want someone to take all their anger and frustration out on. And there's no genuine love there. You know, these karmics are really manipulative. They're really dark. But, um, and a lot of it is about control. They just wanted control over these masculines. They wanted the masculine's money. They wanted, they wanted that power over him. They liked that feeling of power. So, so yeah, these karmics are very possessive, very, very controlling, very dark energies. And a lot of these masculines are finally realizing just how dark they are because they underestimated that darkness before. And it's just so strange that the karmics hold on so tightly when there's there's not even love there. But I guess that's kind of, you know, part of the karmic thing. But anyway, some of them have been going to psychics just because they want to be told, you know, what they want to hear. And... I feel like the masculine said something so harsh, so direct that they can't do that anymore. They can't go to psychics anymore and just try to, you know, they can't sweep everything under the rug. They they can't tell themselves that, you know, oh, he's just, you know, going through a bad phase or he's just stressed out at work. It's like they said something like, you know what, like, I never loved you. Like, you're going to die alone. Like, <laughs> um you know, maybe even said something, you know, like the divine, like I'm way more attracted to my divine feminine than I ever was to you. Like she's way more beautiful. Our energy, our energies are more compatible. Like she's so different than you. Like some of these masculines just really unleashed everything that they've been holding back for years just came out all at once. But it's a really beautiful energy because it's like they're finally in their power. They're finally being strong. They're finally taking those rose colored glasses off and just seeing how dark these karmics are and they're taking the steps to change their lives. So, um, it's really good energy. You know, uh, a lot of the DFs are really proud of the DMS right now for this because it had been building up for a while. So yeah, many of the DMS have moved out. Many of them are, you know, currently making plans to move out if they have not done so already. But a lot of these arguments have already taken place for some of you. Some of you are still catching up to this energy. For, so for some of you, your person's about to have this argument. So just kind of, you know, sit back and let this energy come in. Let this happen for this energy group. And this is, you're in this energy group if my past readings have been resonating with you for my third party readings. So don't take it if it doesn't resonate. But, um... But anyway, yeah, yeah, a lot of this energy is coming in. So it's it's like a tower moment, but it's a really positive thing. So you might feel like a really, so a lot of you are psychic yourself. So some of you might be feeling this energy where it's like something feels like chaotic and like a little like different, like something like there's like an energy shift and you can't put your finger on it. You're like, is this good? Is this bad? And, you know, that energy is kind of hard to um, to put your finger on. If you're not completely used to it, just because it, it's very mixed, you know what I mean? Because this argument was explosive. There is a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of pain on both sides. So you might have felt some of that negativity or you might feel some of that negativity when this comes in. But on the positive note, it's actually a really good thing. It's, it's like a blessing in disguise kind of energy because, you know, the masculine just exploded finally. And he needed to. He, he, needed, he needed to be pushed to that point to finally take his power back and, and stand up for himself and, you know, do the things we've been talking about in my readings, which is, you know, trusting his intuition, realizing that his spirit guides are, you know, taking the blindfold off because they want to help him and they want to support him and they want him to, you know, live the, live a good, you know, happy life, you know, live the life he was meant to live with his divine feminine. They don't want him stuck in this old stagnant energy. So for a lot of them, it's like they had to have something chaotic happen with the karmics in order to be pushed to that point where they're finally willing to be honest and, you know, and cut the karmics out. And many of them have cut the karmics out finally. Many of them, some of them are blocking their numbers. Some of them are, um, for some major cases, some of them are actually getting restraining orders is what I'm hearing. But, but there was some kind of argument that took place that was just so chaotic that it's like the karmic feels like a clown because she knew this all along. I mean, she knew that he didn't want her. She knew it. But it's like he said something that just made her feel so pathetic and so stupid. 
And it's it's the truth, you know. His he he spoke the truth about how he feels finally. Um, so yeah, very beautiful energy because he's finally moving away from that. He's getting his life in order. Um, a lot of them are are you know kind of in like limbo right now where they've moved out of a karmic situation. Um, a lot of them, like I said, a lot of them have physically moved out, like they've moved to a new location if they were living together. Um, but like energetically too, like they've really just moved away from that energy. Like they're not getting sucked back into the drama. They're finally smarter than that. Because the karmic, you know, like I've been, like I've talked about in my past videos, the karmics will try anything. They'll try to use kids against them. They'll try to, um, you know, they'll try to throw a pity party for themselves and, you know, play on the masculine's desire to protect and to nurture. And they'll try to, you know, make them like try to get the masculine to come help them out, like if they get a flat tire or something. But the masculine's finally being smarter. He's finally being more logical about this. He's in that King of Swords energy where he's strong. He's not letting himself be gaslit and manipulated by the karmic anymore. He sees right through her now. So he realizes, you know, it's like crocodile tears, you know, like she cries and begs for him to come back. And he's finally realizing that's just about control for her. It's just her not wanting to be alone. It has nothing to do with real love. Like the karmic never loved the masculine. She just doesn't want to be alone. She doesn't want to, you know, deal with herself. She hates herself. She uh, doesn't want to lose his money. That's a huge thing is the money and the control, the power. But it was never about love for the karmic. So the masculines are finally realizing that and they're finally putting their shields up and um, seeing the truth. So it's such a beautiful energy because it's like the next phase of their life is it's going to be happier than they could ever imagine. You know, they have the next phase of their life with their divine feminine coming in where they can have that home and that family and that stability and everything that they want with their divine feminine. They're going to see a lot of them are unlearning toxic coping mechanisms that they learned with the karmic. And so, um, so, so yeah, it's, it's like they're, how do I explain it? I feel like some of them might've, might've, you know, take, I mean, everyone brings baggage into relationships, but I feel like for you guys, a lot of them brought their baggage into your connection and they're kind of seeing that now they're kind of realizing where you know they might have projected some of their insecurities onto you from what the karmic did like let's say the karmic used them for money or used them for sex some of the masculines might have you know projected that onto you and been like closed off sexually or been like you know paranoid that you were going to use them um or like maybe brought just brought their own insecurities. Like if the karmic cheated, they might have been afraid that you were going to cheat. It's like, they, you know, all that projection. And I think that they're they're in this hermit energy right now. I'm seeing the hermit card. So they're kind of stepping back and they're, um, you know, they're taking some time to themselves just to think about everything, to reevaluate. They finally have a moment to breathe because like I said, so many of them were in these abusive connections. Even if they weren't romantically with the karmic, a lot of them were still living with them. So it was still like a constant battle, constant screaming match, you know, cops being called, whatnot every single day, like domestic violence kind of issues. So it's like right now they're kind of just like in this hermit mode where they're just thinking about everything and they're just, you know, they finally have a minute to breathe. You know, they finally have some time to themselves to, to gather their thoughts. And, you know, and now they're looking back and comparing the relationship between um, the divine feminine and the relationship with the karmic. And they're seeing what they've done and, and things that they could do differently as well. I hope that makes sense. So it's like they're kind of realizing where they might have projected onto the divine feminine. They're realizing that so much of their insecurities and their anger and whatnot came from the karmic. Because for the longest time, it's like the karmic was gaslighting the masculine to make him think that he was the problem. And now that he's taken those rose colored glasses off, he realizes that that the karmic was the problem. The karmic was the toxic one. The karmic was trying to gaslight him and guilt trip him to keep him down. So, you know, the masculine, you know, like I said, like I've said in the last video, uh, you know, masculines, you have to be strong. It does not matter what she threatens. It doesn't matter if she's threatening to hurt your divine feminine, if she's trying to use kids against you, if she's trying to, um, you know, hex or do this or go to your family. You have to just go through the chaos. You have to go through it. If you want to be free and you want to have a happy life. You have to just go through that chaos, no matter what she threatens, because she'll try to, she's, she's, I feel like she's giving up, which is actually a really beautiful energy. It's like a lot of the karmics are giving up 
or they're on the verge of giving up. So like some of them will try to, you know, they'll, they'll see what other tricks they have up their sleeve first. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, it's like a mixed energy where it's like the karmics are giving up, but like every few days or so, maybe she gets upset. Maybe she drinks or something and she gets upset and she texts, text, texts the DM or calls the DM and says, Hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that if you don't come back to me. And in the, that's when you have to be strong. The DMs have to be strong right now and have to just go through that because she is giving up and you're seeing the results of her giving up. It, I hope that makes sense. It's like a very mixed energy. It's like, you, ever, you have you ever just been at that breaking point with someone where you're like, you're pretty much done. Like you're sick of the situation. But like every once in a while, it's like you want to text them just to see, you know, you know what I mean? Like you want to text or call them and see what's going on and reach out and, and, you know, try to see what's happening. It's kind of like that's where the karmics are at. Um, like where they're, they're giving up, they're sick of this situation. They've, they're finally realizing their, their, their egos are, the karmic's ego is so wounded right now. And she tried so hard to be like the divine feminine. She's a copycat. She tried to steal the divine feminine's energy and be like her. And the divine masculine saw right through that. He knows that no one compares the, to the divine feminine, especially not a karmic. And, um, yeah, so they, they just see through that. They just see through that. And, And I just feel like this karmic is like, like she's sick of the masculine. She's honestly sick of him too. And she's kind of, some of the, some of the karmics are actually about to start dating another karmic, another, um, or like, like a soulmate or a twin, like their soulmate or their twin flame. Like some of the karmics are about to start dating some, another man, um, or female, you know, take it as it resonates. But some of these karmics are about to start dating someone else. They're just like, they're just holding on a little bit. It's like, so it's, it's a really good energy. Like, I feel like they're just defeated. Like they feel stupid. They feel childish. Whatever the masculine said to them was so harsh that there's no coming back from it. And it's, it's good. It's, it's justified. He needed to be that harsh with her. He needed to say though. He needed to say that he needed to stand up for himself finally and stop allowing himself to be gaslit. So it's a really beautiful energy, but, um, but, you know, like I was saying, a lot of these karmics are just, it's like, it's like they've given up, but they're in this kind of like, well, I have nothing left to lose mentality. So some of them are going to, you know, like they're giving up, like they're sick of it. They're exhausted. They don't want to fight anymore is kind of the energy I'm getting. Like they're tired of it, but it's like someone that's kind of lost everything, like where she might still call him once in a while and be like, you know what? Like, I'm pissed that this happened. I'm going to try to, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to hurt myself or I'm going to try to take your kids from me or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that if you don't come back. And, you know, the masculines, you have to be strong. You have to be like, you know what, bitch, go ahead and do it. I don't care. I'm going to be free of you no matter what. Like, I'm going to go, you know, on my own path and listen to my spirit guides and listen to my intuition and live the life that I deserve with my divine feminine. I'm going to have a family with my divine feminine. And, and you know, your these masculines are meant to have these families with the divine feminine like that's in store for them if they take this leap of faith and they are taking these leaps of faith so it's a really beautiful energy but but yeah the karmics might you know still throw out some threats here and there just because they're at that breaking point um but you so you have to be strong right now you have to keep your guard up you have to be smart some of these karmics might try to throw something on you unexpected like um like showing up at your don't give them your address because some of them will show up at your door if you give them your address some of them will call you you know, crying at 11 o'clock, asking to be asking you to come pick them up from the bar or, you know, calling you because they have a flat tire, or yada, yada. And you have to just be strong and be like, you know what, you're not a part of my life anymore. You can you find someone else, you know, call the person you were cheating on me with and, and ask them instead. <laughs> you know, it's like that kind of energy where it's like, you, you know, these these masculines are standing up to these karmics. So it's, it's, it's a really beautiful energy. Um, they are kind of in like a limbo phase right now is what I'm getting though, where it's like they're in um, the masculine set is they're in this like limbo phase. So like I said, they have to keep being assertive. They have to keep being smart and being strong because they're almost to that finish line now. You know, they keep this energy up for another month and the karmic is probably going to be dating somebody else and finally moved on. But they have to be consistent. I see like another month or two at most, you know, but as long as they stick with it, like they're going to be good. The, the masculines are going to be good. They're going to get out of this energy. And the karmic's going to finally move on to her destiny too. Because like I said, she was hurting herself and blocking her own destiny by trying to block the divine masculine's destiny, by trying to block the divine masculine from being with his divine feminine 
the karmic actually created all this bad karma for herself. And I think a lot of them are realizing that now. They're like, wait a minute, I want to let go of this divine masculine because I want to find my own divine masculine. I want to find, you know what I mean? Like the karmic wants her own true love. She wants her own story finally. She realizes that she's never going to be anything to the masculine. So a lot of these karmics are finally... Um, you know, moving on. But like I said, it's like a chaotic energy, you know, still for the most, it's, it's calmer. But it's like I said, it, you know, like I was saying, some of them are just, you know, they have nothing left to lose. And they might still try to throw some drama here and there just to test the waters and see if it'll work. It's like, okay, we haven't talked for a week, I'm going to call him and I'm, I'm going to, you know, see if I can play on his emotions and get him to come pick me up from the bar, or come, you know, change my tire for me. Or, um, or I'm going to threaten this or that. And maybe, maybe it'll work. Maybe he just, maybe he's calmed down and he's, his defenses are down. So I'm going to call him and try to gaslight him again. Maybe I hope it works this time. Or they're trying to do spell work and it's not working. It's coming back on them tenfold. Um, so, so divine masculine, just be strong because, you know, she might try to wait till your guards down and then try to throw some more crap at you. And you have to just, whatever she threatens, you have to stay, you have to say, you know what, like, Go ahead and call my family. Go ahead and spread that rumor. Go ahead and release the information you have on me. Do whatever, but I'm not getting back with you, you know? Um, take that power back. Continue to take that power back. You've already done so great. Like, you're almost, you're pretty much there. You're almost, you know, you're almost there. You're pretty much, you're just in the midst of this energy right now. But just keep being strong. Keep being assertive. Keep standing up for yourself. Do not allow yourself to be gaslit. No matter what she threatens, be smarter than that. You have to be smarter. And if you do that, you can finally be free of the karmic completely. Like she will be like with someone else in love with you. Forget you ever even existed practically by the end of the year. If you can do that, if you can keep this energy up, that assertiveness, that standing up for yourself, that power, that strength that, the, that you felt when you told her off, when you put her in her place. If you can keep that strength and assertiveness and intelligence up, that king of swords energy, if you can keep that up then you're going to be free of her completely by the end of the year. She will, you know, almost see it as if you had never existed. She'll want to erase you from, from her mind. You know what I mean? Like she'll be moving on. So you have to, you have to, you know, continue to be consistent with this energy and continue to be strong and assertive and logical about things and be a few steps ahead of her. And, you know, if you do that and you, you know, you cannot cave no matter what, not even once. If you even cave once, even like, you know, she has a flat tire and she asks you to come help and you go do it, you're back to square one. She will start all over again with her drama. So that's why I'm, you know, reiterating no matter how chaotic and dramatic it gets, you have to be strong. You have to stay in your power and you have to be consistent because you're in the midst of this energy where this battle is finally almost over. So you got to, you know, it's like you're, you still have the sword. You're still sword fighting, but, you know, you're, you're pretty much winning. She's pretty much defeated. She's on the ground now. It's like you got to – so it's a weird description, but, you know, that's kind of how I see it. It's like you you pretty much almost won this battle, but you have to be strong. It's not, you know, don't get too relaxed and put the sword down just yet, but you're pretty, you've pretty much won for the most part. You know what I mean? But, but still be consistent with this energy. But, yeah, a lot of the masculines are in, like, a, a phase of limbo, too, right now where they're wanting to reach out to the divine feminines, but they're, um, and they really need to, they really need to, because I don't think they've realized, you know, how the divine feminine, how upset the divine feminines are getting and how, um, they just, they need to reach out. It's pa it's time. It's definitely past time. They need to reach out. Um, but a lot of them are just kind of in their head. Like I said, they're in this like hermit energy, um, kind of like, you know, overthinking things a little bit. Just because it's like, well, I mean, because the karmic was so chaotic. So it's like if these, if this masculine just got a new apartment or he lit, he moved somewhere else. Some of them are even staying at hotels. Some of them just said, screw this, bye. And they're at, you know, they're staying wherever. Some of them are staying with the divine feminines, you know. Some of them are, you know, have started that life with you guys already. Um, but, but the masculines are in like hermit. Like I see like the hermit card. And then I also see the king of swords card. And I see, um, I see the nine of swords. I see the star. Okay, that's a good card. So there's lots of hope here. But yeah, the divine masculines are, they're in like this like hermit introspective kind of energy where they're, like I said, they're just taking a minute to catch their breath. You know, just to kind of find themselves again, they're doing some soul searching because it's like, you know, so many of them were in these abusive connect karmic connections 
they're being yelled at and, and gaslit and degraded on a daily basis. So some of them are just enjoying just silence, just being by themselves right now, just being able to to connect with their spirit guides and start trusting their intuition. Some of them are starting to get into divination and psychic work, you know, especially if you like open the door for them with that. Like some of them are, um, are exploring that. Like they're starting to listen to their spirit guides, like meditating and whatnot. Like they're starting to really, um, open their mind about, you know, the astral realm and the psychic world. Like they're, they're realizing that all that energy is real. Um, and, and they're just, they're healing right now. They're in, the, they're just in this healing phase where it's like, you know, they finally have some time to themselves. They finally have a moment to just breathe and just process everything that they just went through. So some of them are in this kind of slow moving, like Knight of Pentacles energy. And a lot of them are comparing you to the karmic. A lot of them are kind of, they're, they're very introspective right now. So some of them are seeing how they repeated those, um, patterns that they had with the karmic how they repeated some of those patterns with you or with other relationships like how maybe they projected some of the the issues and the drama they were dealing with from the karmic like onto you um remember i was talking about like some of them feel like you know like the karmic used them so they had that fear so now they're kind of addressing that and they're working on themselves so it's a very it's a really good energy I'm going to do part two because there's some, so for the most part, it's a good reading. Um, there are some other updates that I want to get into, but I don't know if it's for everybody in this energy group. I think it's only for a few people because I did get some disloyal.